The one love effect. What if negative feelings are just an opportunity to embrace our oneness, reclaim our power, heal ourselves and clear the way for our best lives ever? A beautiful, magical life where our deepest heartfelt desires burst into our reality and we find ourselves quite literally living the dream. Okay, got to say, with all that up for grabs, embracing oneness sounds rather appealing right now, doesn't it? And someone who knew a thing or two about embracing oneness was Edgar Mitchell, scientist, astronaut and lunar pilot from the third lunar landing. Like many astronauts, he experienced a sense of total unity and oneness when he looked back at Earth from space. It led him to the profound realisation that we're all part of the same thing and what's more, made of the same stuff. In fact, he summed it up beautifully when he said, in other words, it was pretty obvious, we're all stardust. Life-changing stuff for sure, but it's not just for astronauts because the one love effect takes us beyond our current reality and gives us an opportunity to embrace this realisation for ourselves and all that goes with it when we choose love, love for ourselves no matter what. Guided by a simple heartfelt process, the one love effect enables us to reclaim our power as we prioritise the need to give generously to ourselves whenever we experience any form of negativity. It allows us to remove all blocks to abundance by holding just one core belief and then using the art of wholehearted self-care. It gives us an opportunity to not only heal our own hurt, but also aid the healing process of anyone else involved through the beautiful connection we all share, offering us a new way of being founded completely on love. But that's only the half of it. When we choose love no matter what, and give generously to ourselves, we automatically connect to the dynamic and universal exchange of not just giving, but giving and receiving. And it's when we surrender to the natural ebb and flow of this inseparable duo that we tap into the incredible power of our oneness and literally anything becomes possible. With pure ease and beautiful grace, the one love effect seamlessly sets us up to receive our best lives ever as we experience the absolute joy of making stardust. Yep, stardust for goodness sake. And as magical as that all sounds, this isn't reserved for a select few. Hell no. This is available to absolutely everyone. Yes, you, every single one of you can turn negativity on its head with this simple win-win technique that could quite literally transform your world from the inside out. Oh, how positively divine. So come on, you lovely lot, let's do it. Let's make some stardust and one by one, let's do our bit to change the world. But before we do, please take note of this little suggestion. Don't put any pressure on yourself to try and make notes, remember the process or even keep up at times. In fact, if this is your first experience of the One Love Effect, it's recommended that you just sit back and simply receive it. You could obviously watch this as many times as you like, but yeah, first time round, the tip is to just sit back and receive it. Okay, here we go. The process. When things are difficult, rather than focusing on the story attached to your thoughts, a person, or the situation you find yourself in, simply accept the way it makes you feel and take responsibility for it showing up in your life by taking wholehearted care of yourself instead. Please note, acceptance and taking responsibility have absolutely nothing to do with taking the blame. Here, acceptance and taking respons responsibility simply mean that you acknowledge the person, the situation, all these thoughts have shown up in your life and that they've made you feel something negative. It could be that someone's been unkind to you and you feel sad. Maybe somebody you love is struggling physically or emotionally and that makes you feel sad. Or maybe you're feeling sad because of your current situation and you're struggling with your own thoughts today. It doesn't matter what circumstances have created the feeling. The result is the same. It's affected you 
and on this occasion you feel sad. You could be feeling any number of negative things. The list is endless. But whatever it is, just honour it rather than suppress it. And don't escalate it by buying into the drama of it all. Instead, be grateful. Grateful that you have an opportunity to reclaim your power by choosing love. Love for yourself, no matter what. In exactly the same way that you'd rush over to scoop up a hurt child and love them better. No questions, no judgments, no conditions. You just do it. And you can do this for yourself whenever you experience any form of negativity by simply using your in-breath to rush over and scoop yourself up energetically. And as you choose love, love for yourself no matter what, and imagine being scooped up energetically on your next breath in, place a compassionate hand on your heart and notice how it automatically expands as if to throw itself wide open to welcome you in a warm embrace. No questions, no judgments, no conditions. It just does it. And then with the power behind your out breath, shoot it up through your upper body and out through the top of your head. Imagine you've popped it in a lift and shot it to the top floor, to the penthouse suite with the best views in the house. And when it's there, hold it there, high above your head, while you take a moment to quickly remind yourself just how amazing you actually are. Because if you want to play an active role in living your best life, there's only one belief that's ever worth having about yourself. And that is, I am limitless. It really is a little gem. Why? Well, for starters, this one belief single-handedly overrides all limiting beliefs while simultaneously sending a clear message to the universe that there is no separation between you and anyone or anything else out there. Literally anything is possible with this belief. It reminds us of our oneness and takes the idea of a problem shared to a whole new level as it plugs us straight into source, connecting us with our truth, our higher self, the divine, God, the bigger picture, or anything else you might call it whatever feels most comfortable to you. Oh my goodness me, with no separation between you and anyone or anything else out there, you're huge. You go on and on and on to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Embrace that oneness. There's no more playing small for you. You're quite something, aren't you? Go on, say it. I am limitless and take a moment to embrace who you really are. Honestly, with this belief, nothing's missing, bigger or better than you. You're an intrinsic, unique part of the whole mind-blowingly beautiful thing. Okay, let's do this. Whilst holding space on the top floor in the penthouse suite, having reminded yourself that there's no separation between you and anyone or anything else out there, send love truckloads of beautiful, powerful love energy high above your head and radiate love with all your heart. Imagine you're holding a massive bazooka that repeatedly blasts love until sparks fly and you've zapped anything and everything that needs it to spit the rings. But sometimes that's too much too soon and a much softer approach is needed. So instead, try sending gentle little heartfelt kisses that create delicate pink bubbles of love that float up and surround you like a comforting hug. And if it's a quick fix you need because the circumstances you find yourself in are far too intense for you to be able to picture anything at all, say love, love, love over and over again. But these are only suggestions. Honestly, you can't get this wrong. Whatever comes up for you is perfect. It doesn't matter how you do it. Images, no images. Words, no words. Seeing colours, not seeing colours. Just set a clear intention to radiate love from that beautiful, ever-loving heart of yours and shower yourself in love. Beautiful, powerful love energy without judgement or any conditions in whatever way feels right to you. A minute or so into the process, you should start to notice that when left to its own devices, the intensity of the negative feeling starts to naturally subside 
And this is a great time to shift your focus to how you'd like to feel instead. The bottom line is we all have to think something. And as nice thoughts create nice feelings, surely it makes sense to focus on how you'd like to feel rather than fuel your current reality with your negative thoughts and risk reliving the whole thing all over again in your head. <laughs> I can hear the universe now shouting out in true Spice Girl style. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Well, what do you want? How do you want to feel instead of this rubbish feeling? Well, you don't need to give it a second thought because the joy of negative feelings is that they're absolutely brilliant at letting us know exactly what we don't want. And in that moment, a heartfelt desire for something better is born and we immediately become aligned with what we want and the way we want to feel. Oh, wow, you've just created a purely heartfelt desire for something better. A desire that has nothing to do with your mind and what you think you want or any sort of selfish or materialistic desire for more. Oh no, this one is straight from the heart. A purely heartfelt desire for something better. For something better than this rubbish feeling. And you definitely deserve that. Isn't that what life's all about? Progression finding ways to move forward and thrive? And isn't that what human beings have been doing since the beginning of time? Of course it is. Good old evolution. It's our birthright. We were all born to develop and grow and shine. Well, this is a moment to do just that. This is an opportunity for a bit of good, old-fashioned, heartfelt progression so that you can feel the way you want to feel instead of this rubbish feeling. So come on, you know you deserve better. In fact, you're entitled to it. It's your birthright, remember. It's time to raise that bar of yours and hit the reset button. Reset button? Yeah, reset button. And the good news is we've all got one. By consciously choosing to focus on the way you'd like to feel, this rubbish feeling doesn't stand a chance of getting the instant replay it's so accustomed to because no one can truly focus on two things at once. We've all got the power to hit our reset button and take control of our thoughts by simply choosing to hold a vision of the way we'd like to feel instead. So you, yes you, have the power to do this for yourself right now and any time you choose, because no matter what shows up out there, it's you that gets to decide what you want to focus on in here. Thanks to, can we have a drum roll please? Yes, thanks to your wonderful imagination. Honestly, this is your power tool. It really is the star of the show because there's absolutely nothing you can't create in your imagination, nothing at all. So why limit yourself to your current reality and this rubbish feeling when you can use your imagination to create a vision of your desired reality and feel the way you want to feel right now. Wow, that's so cool and so easy and feels so much nicer than this rubbish feeling. So what are we waiting for? On the count of three, let's hit that reset button and start downloading your desired reality. One, two, three, go. Imagine being whatever you desire. Imagine being happy, healthy, loved, safe free, valued, successful, content. In fact, imagine being anything that makes you feel the way you want to feel instead of this rubbish feeling as you say love, 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 love over and over again. Don't concern yourself with how you got there. Just fast forward and let your wonderful imagination create a vision of your desired reality. A reality where you are already what you desire and most importantly, feeling the way you want to feel. But let's just be clear. This is way more than simply thinking about being whatever you desire. In your desired reality, you are already what you desire, which means you're not wishing for it, hoping or expecting it to happen either. In your desired reality, it's happened. You are it. You are happy healthy, loved, safe, or anything else you desire already. Yep, it's a done deal. 
in your desired reality, you are quite literally living the dream in your imagination right now. So don't hold back. Use all your senses to help you feel it. Feel into your desired reality and imagine how you'd feel if this was your actual reality right now. Verbalise it. Say, I am happy, healthy, loved, safe, or anything else you desire and imagine every cell of your body being exactly that. Oh my goodness me. Now that feels so good. And as you feel how amazing it is to be whatever you desire, imagine how thankful you'd be if this was your actual reality right here, right now. Yep, you'd be so grateful. So come on, quickly add a whole load of gratitude and say thank you, thank you, thank you. But don't just say it, mean it. This isn't about being polite. This is about feeling grateful. Really connect with that giddy butterflies in your stomach sort of feeling that you get when you receive something you really, really want and you feel truly grateful. Let the blissful feeling of gratitude bubble up and fill you with joy because believe it or not, feeling grateful really does make all the difference when it comes to living the dream from the inside out. Okay, with your vision of your desired reality clearly fixed in your mind, but most importantly, how it makes you feel buzzing through every cell of your body, it's time to let go of that rubbish feeling. But let's not be too hard on that so-called negative feeling because it's served you well, really well. It's got you to this point and you're very grateful for that. But honestly, it's done its job now. And this really is the perfect time to forgive and release yourself from anything that no longer serves you. Now, please don't get stuck on the word forgive. We don't forgive to let someone else off the hook. We forgive to unhook ourselves from our own pain and suffering. Forgiveness is something we do for ourselves. In fact, it's something we give to ourselves. Because to forgive means to give for. To give for something better to be received. And you've already got something better, a heartfelt desire for something better. So it's time to forgive, to give for something better than this rubbish feeling to be received and release yourself from anything that no longer serves you. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just imagine absolutely anything that is even remotely connected, consciously or subconsciously, from across all time, space and reality, whether it be real or imaginary, being immediately severed as you say to yourself, I forgive and release you. You're doing great, really great, but please don't stop now. Take a few gentle breaths and imagine looking up to see a rose gold mist to start to form. And as the soft mist rises above you, give it one last blast of love. Zap it with all you've got as you say love, 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 love over and over again. And watch, watch as everything starts to sparkle and transforms into stardust. Yes, beautiful golden stardust destined to return to the universe to complete the cycle and aid the healing process of anyone else involved. Wowzers, you really can't beat a bit of stardust to send something off in spectacular style. And as it drifts off into the distance, leaving you full of gratitude, radiating love and shining oh so brightly, Stay focused on feeling good by already being whatever you desire in that wonderful imagination of yours and let your powerful energy signature sign you out as you officially hand this lot over and step into your full power with the following positive declaration statement. I am limitless. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my best life ever. And so it is for the highest good of all, including myself. And that's it, tick, job done. But be sure to act on anything that sparkles back at you because honestly, now that you've cleared the way so beautifully, anything could happen next, absolutely anything. Oh my days, you've just taken stuff that made you feel rubbish, neutralized it and turned it into stardust by quite literally loving it to bits. Who'd have thought negativity could fuel such wonderful positivity for everyone concerned? You're a right little powerhouse, aren't you? 
negativity into stardust. Nice one. But the one love effect is so much more than just a process. Honestly, now that you've been introduced to the art of wholehearted self-care and you know how to transmute negativity by dishing out love like there's no tomorrow, you've done more than just clear the way for something better. Because may I remind you that you've just made stardust for goodness sake? Yes, quite literally for the sake of goodness. And I don't know if you realise this, but that sort of goodness, love and her beautiful entourage, acceptance, gratitude, forgiveness, trust and good old joy, aka the dream team, they are said to raise the bar big time, sending out mega vibes that sing to the good things in life, the really good things. Yep, the one love effect just keeps on giving. This isn't a one-off opportunity. This is a way of being. It's like having a rolling contract with the universe. You commit to take wholehearted care of yourself by choosing love no matter what and making stardust with the dream team for goodness sake. And with nothing in its way, the abundant universe, which is always chomping at the bit to match your vibe and fulfill a heartfelt desire for something better, can flow freely. And everything falls seamlessly into place around you so that you get to feel the way you want to feel and live your best life ever. And let's face it, there's not much that love, acceptance, gratitude, forgiveness, trust and joy can't do. So dream big when it comes to how you want to feel because this lovely lot aren't called the dream team for nothing. You have the power to change your world from the inside out. Don't laugh, you do. And definitely don't knock it until you've tried it. Seriously, what have you got to lose? Are you ready to give living your best life your best shot? Brilliant. But before you do, let's just do a quick recap. Okay, so you've just turned negativity into stardust and made yourself feel better. Wow, what a fab skill that is. What's more, we've established that this isn't a one-off opportunity, but more a way of being. It's like having a rolling contract with the universe, something that you can do over and over again whenever you experience any form of negativity by choosing love, love for yourself no matter what. And that every time you do it, not only do you make yourself feel better, you clear the way for something better, a heartfelt desire for something better so that you can develop and grow and shine, which we've agreed is your birthright and therefore not only something you deserve, but something you are absolutely entitled to. Throw in that newfound love and appreciation for your wonderful imagination and there really is no going back as you start sending out mega vibes with the dream team and playing an active role in living your best life. And it really couldn't be any easier. Yeah, the one love effect brings this all together in one simple process where you get to step into your full power every time you do it. Not by struggling and forcing an outcome, but by making stardust for goodness sake and simply handing it all over. Now, just in case you're thinking that handing something over sounds like a bit of a cop-out or that to surrender and let something go are signs of weakness, oh no, far from it. In fact, quite the opposite. When you surrender and let something go, you're not weak and you're certainly not giving up on something. You're actually joining forces with absolutely everything else out there and going with the flow. Now that's powerful. So powerful. It's what makes the world go round. Yet you're tapping into the energy that makes the flowers bloom, the tides turn, the sun come up, and all the other things that you just trust will happen in your world. Come on, if it's good enough for the planets, the oceans and our wonderful fauna and flora, what's not to trust? More importantly, when you trust like that, we all become part of the same team. So when you surrender and let something go, you're not giving up. You're simply embracing oneness and handing over the baton to the universe so that it can do its thing. 
and you've already done your bit by clearing the way so beautiful to secure beautifully to secure pole position on the home straight. So it's only fair that the abundant universe has a chance to get you over the finish line to secure the best possible outcome for the highest good of all, including yourself. Honestly, what's not to love about that? And what's great about the One Love Effect is it's open to everyone. All you need is a desire to live your best life and a willingness to give it a go. And remember, it doesn't matter what's going on out there because no one but you gets to choose what you focus on in here. This really is what they call an inside job. But don't underestimate its power. This is absolutely huge. The One Love Effect enables you to transmute anything based on fear into something founded on love. And negativity simply becomes the fuel you need to transform your world from the inside out. Oh, wow, we diddly dee. Negativity really does give us an opportunity to embrace our oneness, reclaim our power, heal ourselves, and clear the way for our best lives ever. A beautiful, magical life where our deepest, heartfelt desires burst into our reality and we find ourselves quite literally living the dream. When we choose love, love for ourselves no matter what. Ta-da! There you have it. Thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure introducing you to the One Love Effect today. And at this point, all that's left to say is happy stardust making. <laughs>